What's up guys, my name is Josue. Welcome back to La Vida Josue. Today we're trying six seasonal pumpkin beers with some of the highest alcohol percentage that we could find. We went to Total Wine and we scavenged every single aisle till we found the strongest pumpkin beers so we can try them and we can tell you all about them. Today here on La Vida Josue, we're starting a new segment called Beer Me Bro. Beer Me Bro. Hey, Beer Me Bro. So we got six beers that we're gonna try and we're gonna do them from lightest alcohol percentage all the way up to the highest alcohol percentage. So we wanna be a little bit easy, you know, we're not trying to get too crazy too fast. So we're gonna start with the lightest one. Evan, what we got? All right, so today we got the Children of the Gourd by O'Connor Brewery here local, Norfolk, Virginia. It's actually probably my favorite brewery. It says pumpkin burger liner wise with vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. We're about to see how it goes. 6.3%, let's get it. 6.3% at the lightest, by the way, that's the lightest beer, 6.3%. Tell me what you think. That one's good, it definitely tastes like a Hefeweizen. I don't really see the vanilla part of it, but I can taste the nutmeg part for sure. You definitely got that pumpkin ale flavor in there. It's like a pumpkin ale Hefeweizen. All right, it's a pumpkin ale Hefeweizen. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I don't really f with Hefeweizens too much, but I do f with pumpkin beers. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. <laughs> Not a shot. Oh, sh hold on. This shit tastes like a sour, dude. It's a Hefeweizen. All right, hold on. I guess that's it. Once I get the whole sip, it does taste like a Hefeweizen, but at first, that little sip, it, it touched my tongue, touched my taste was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it touched my tongue, and that, that, that tasted like a sour to me. Sours are not my thing, though. I don't really taste the vanilla, but I do taste the nutmeg. I gotta agree. All right, so I don't taste the nutmeg. You don't taste the vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> we got more beers to try, so let's down these. Mm. Beer me, bro. Next one. All right, so the next one we got is Voodoo Ranger Atomic Pumpkin. All right, so New Belgium is one of my favorite companies, and the Voodoo Ranger by New Belgium is actually one of my favorite beers. So I'm pretty stoked to see New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger Atomic Pumpkin. Let's try the Atomic Pumpkin. So we're gonna see if it uh, is stronger than the Hefeweizen. This one's good as hell. Told you, you guys cannot go wrong with New Belgium. Spicy, it says spicy on it. It says spicy. Oh, I the can up, hold up. It says like spicy something up here. Spicy Voodoo Ranger Atomic Pumpkin. You feel the kick, you feel the initial kick on the aftertaste. Let's check it out. Oh, this shit is fire, yo. This is, oh my, so it says, yo. What the fuck is that? It's kind of like that habanero flavor from that, that uh, Ballast Point beer. I can't remember what it's called. The habanero scoping? That one, yeah. So it says spicy, and I thought it meant spicy because it's like, no, this, this shit is actually like in the back of my throat. New Belgium. I don't know what you guys do over there. Hey, but shout, shout out to our boys in New Belgium. 6.4%. So the first one was 6.3, this one was 6.4%. And now we gotta kill it. Cheers, bro. Beer me, bro. Woo! All right, so the next one we got is Ale Works Pumpkin Ale. Me and Josue have actually both had these, but the one after this and this one are both 7.3, but we haven't had that one, so stay tuned for that. Crisp color. All right, so this one is by Ale Works. Ale Works is a local brewery here in Williamsburg, Virginia, so Ale Works Pumpkin Seasonal Selection, so it says Nostalgically Spiced Amber Ale Pumpkin Pie in a motherfucking bottle, and I've had it before. 7.3%, we're going on the up and up. Subscribe, by the way, if you want to get boozy with us. Cheers, mate. This was a fucking pumpkin beer all day. And the reason that I like this one the best so far out of all the three is because you get that amber ale flavor with that additional layer of pumpkin flavor, but without the spice that burns your throat. So it goes down easy, it's smooth, a beautiful color. And honestly, this would be a go-to pumpkin beer if I'm just chilling at home, fucking, you know, fucking, fucking, fucking watching, uh, the boys. The boys or something. All right, so I recently had this beer probably like two weeks ago for the first time, and it was bomb then, and it's fucking bomb now. It doesn't change, man. Beer me, bro. All right, so for this one, I'm super stoked because this one is the one that Evan was talking about. We have not had this one. Ale Works Pumpkin Latte. If you look at it, it looks like a like a pumpkin latte from Starbucks. We got 7.3 again, also from Ale Works. However, this is the pumpkin latte. Spiced amber ale brewed with coffee. If you're a big pumpkin spice latte person, this one might be the beer for you. Ooh. Y'all seen that Shaq video where he's like. Explain that gram, we're gonna do a deep dive. <laughs> I'm excited for this one, not because it's beer, because I love beer, but because I actually genuinely love pumpkin spice lattes. So cheers. 
That beer down. has been the most honest beer so far. Cause you can taste the coffee. You can taste the coffee. Spiced amber ale brewed with coffee, pumpkin latte. That's exactly what it is. Just literally, just you have a pumpkin spice latte in your hand and you just pour an amber ale in it. I'm a huge coffee fan. So I'm like into that super like bitter taste. Mixed with that pumpkin, it's like perfect, man. This is probably one of my favorite pumpkin ales I've had in a long time. This shit is good, you got bitch. I'm not even gonna chug this one down actually. I'm gonna. Me too. Beer Baby, bro. bro. All right, so the next one we got is Blue Mountain Barrel House Series. Spooky, bourbon barrel aged, 8.2%. It's kind of hefty. How are we going to do this one, boys? It's a motherfucking spooky ghost. Spooky ghost. Yo, guys, dead ass. I know it's fucking spooky season right now, but honestly, I, I feel like I feel like there's a ghost in this bitch. Every time I'm, I'm every time that I'm, every, hey, bro, Evan, you taking this Spookiness and bullshit aside, this is the beer that I've been most excited for tonight because the bottle claims ale brewed with real pumpkin puree and cacao nibs. Let's see if the bottle holds up its own standards. Cheers, buddy. It's a good beer. Whoa. I like that beer, it's good. This is like a dessert beer. It's, it's sweet. If you're a beer drinker, you know how the, the bourbon barrel aids, you, you know that taste. This but is it's it. like infused this is it. with that pumpkin. It's Great. This one, my boys, 8.2. I'm kind of fucked up. That only means that we can just cheers, buddy. Beer me, bro. Hey, beer me, bro. So now, cue in the drum roll effect. It is time for the last and final beer. Southern Tier has been one of my most favorite breweries. My most favorite pumpkin beer, which is an honorable mention tonight. And I'll let Evan tell you. We couldn't get our hands on it today, boys. And shout out my boy Gabriel for showing it to us. If you're a beer drinker, you already know. The Pump King El Rey. The pumpkin. But tonight, we're trying something that we've never tried before. Something by Southern Tier that's a limited release that still has pumpkin in it. And we're talking about the Warlock. I'm not talking about Halloween Town 2 Calabar's Revenge Warlock. I'm talking about Toria, the Ganon Warlock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What? We're clocking in at 8.6% with the highest ABV of all the beers that we've had tonight. Limited release, The Warlock. This is our first time trying it in an Imperial Pumpkin Stout. Literally everything that I love in the beer sounds like it will be in this bottle. Ooh, this one smells like the Pumpkin's fucking pissed off stepdad. I'm ready for this one, boys. Mm. Is it better than the Pumpkin? Let me take one more sip. It's damn good. That's the one, that's definitely the one out of all of them. It's almost equivalent to the pumpkin, in my opinion. I think they're equal. This is f***ing amazing. Finish this last one, bro. So this has been the first episode of Beer Me Bro. And I'm glad to add this segment to my channel. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Hit the notification button so you're notified the next time that I post a video. And if you're not already subscribed, just hit the subscribe button. You're watching the video already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Beer Me Bro. Beer Me Bro. Peace. We have taken turns. Spooky. Burp. <laughs> Burp. Just don't say anything. Just don't say anything. We went over the total wine to find. We went over the total wine.